Now I've just about finished this painting, I've just been also doing a little video tip on this for you before, uh, on how to use a comber brush, but I just got nearly to the end of this, I'm just about to sign it, and I noticed I had a blemish, a spot of paint just around here. And it's like that situation, you know, when you've done a painting, you think, Ah, oh, no, I spent hours on this. No, I've dropped some paint on it. What I would normally do is get a piece of paper and obviously cover up part of the areas, which is what I tend to do most of the time. But um, I thought, well, okay, what method shall I use today on removing that little bit of a blemish? You can just about make out a little hint of it. Now, normally what I would use is something like this, okay? And all this is is an old cheap uh, acrylic mixing brush, which I got from a pound shop, so very, very cheap. And because it's a cheap one, I got a pair of pliers, crimped it, and then shaped it to like a bit of a chiseled point. And the benefit for something like that, I've got a piece of paper, is that you can use that to remove paint. You can just about see that on there from the uh, screen. See what I mean? So that'll take the paint off straight away. You still have some staining paint on there. It depends on the paint on the colour, obviously, if it will come off or not as well. Things like alizarin crimson tends to stain. Or I use my double zero brush and then titivate it with the brush and then lift off the paint that way. But it's harder that way because of the fact that you've got such a soft tip on that brush. However, something I got off the old Tinternet the other day and I thought, well, I saw it advertised and I thought, I'll give it a try. And it's used for cleaning the fridges, your pots and pans, even down to your trainers. Yeah, okay. Well, I'll just bear with me on this, okay? All it is, you ready? This is going to come into the X Factor voiceover. Here we go. Doctor Power, the magic eraser. There you go. How was that? So this is <laughs> all it simply is is one large sponge. I know, odd thing. It really is odd. So it's a large sponge, and you use it for cleaning all sorts, really. And all that is is one big box, as you can see, full of what massive piece of sponge is a bit of that. Okay, that's a piece of it. And the idea is you wet the sponge, which I'm just doing now for you. You bring it over to your blemish. Are you ready? I hope this works. And then, it did work before. And then you can lightly, I'm not pressing hard, just titivate the paper. And you can see most of that, just by doing it very quickly, it's on the sponger, that'll wash out now. Um, it could take off the paint. So there you go, that's one of the methods which you can use just by uh, buying something off the internet. Um, and another method you can try out for removing paint from the paper. But as I said many times before, get plenty of scrap pieces of paper and uh, have a go on those first before you go to your main painting, okay? I know I did it, it was a bit daring, but I suggest you do it the other way around. Just be careful first. So the question of the day is, what method do you use for removing accidents on your paper?